Meliva Marek, The Woman Silenced by Science. Hello. I'm glad you're here to listen to this story, which honestly, is a clear example of the inequality faced by a woman who deserved much more recognition. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any comments, feel free to share them. Let's begin. We all know one of the great geniuses of the 20th century for his revolutionary ideas in science and for how he changed the modern world. But what many don't know is that his personal life, especially his relationship with his first wife, Meliva Marek, is a much more complicated story and largely overlooked. Meliva Marek was born in 1875 in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, into a landowning family. From a young age, she proved to be a brilliant student, which allowed her to access education at a time when women faced enormous obstacles to entering scientific fields. She was one of the first women to study physics at the Federal Polytechnic Institute in Zurich, where in 1896 she met the man who would become her husband. Their relationship was intense, marked by an intellectual exchange that helped develop revolutionary ideas. This couple had a quite complicated professional and personal relationship. Meliva was an extremely talented mathematician and physicist, and during her years of study, she achieved higher grades than her partner in several subjects. Imagine the blow to the scientist's ego, that must not have been easy to swallow. Despite her incredible talent, Meliva faced discrimination in her academic career simply because she was a woman. At that time, society was still trapped in outdated beliefs, where it was thought that women should limit themselves to household chores and having children. It wasn't well regarded for them to study, learn trades beyond what they were allowed, or hold important positions in companies. Not to mention running a business, as in the case of Bertha Benz, the wife of Karl Benz, the German engineer known for inventing the first internal combustion automobile. If you're interested, you can find this fascinating story in the previous video on this channel. These were especially tough times for Meliva Marek. Despite her brilliant academic performance, she faced a hostile environment at the institute. As the only woman in her physics and mathematics class, she was under constant scrutiny and evaluated much more rigorously than her male peers. This misogynistic environment misogyny, as we know, is the rejection or prejudice against women for no apparent reason, not only socially isolated her but also affected her academic performance. During her oral exams, a professor, reflecting the biases of the time, gave her a significantly lower grade than her male classmates, despite her knowledge and skills being equal to or even superior to many of theirs. This academic injustice was devastating for Meliva, as it prevented her from completing her studies and cut short a promising scientific career just when her potential was at its peak. We will always wonder what she could have achieved and how she might have contributed to the betterment of humanity if she had been given the chance to fully develop her potential. Now, imagine how many women throughout history have experienced the same. As the relationship between the scientist and Maliva grew stronger, they collaborated on several important research projects that made history in the science of their time. In letters he left behind, he explicitly acknowledged Meliva's significant contributions to these works, saying that together they would achieve a, a victorious end. However, despite recognizing her support and the crucial role she played in his research, when the scientist began publishing his most important works, she did not receive the recognition she deserved. The lack of credit given to Meliva for these scientific achievements is a clear example of the unfortunate reality faced by many female collaborators in the history of science and other fields. Her contributions were ignored, without proper acknowledgement, which only highlights the selfishness and lack of ethics of the person she supported. Over time, and after a time had passed, the couple's life underwent significant changes. In 1901, they faced a drastic turn when Meliva became pregnant. At this crucial moment for her, 
the lack of adequate support from her husband led Maliva to make the difficult decision to return to Serbia to give birth to their daughter, Lizero. This is where the mystery surrounding the child begins. Lizero's story is shrouded in doubt and speculation, as very little is known about her life and fate. Some sources suggest that she may have been given up for adoption, while others indicate that she might have passed away at a young age. The truth is that there is no confirmed version of what happened. This enigma has added another layer of complexity to Maliva's personal life, making her story even more intriguing. Continuing the story, after the scientist got a job at the Swiss patent office, he married Maliva in 1903. They later had two more children, Hans and Edward. While the scientist continued with his career, Maliva was relegated to household chores and caring for their children, sadly and unfairly distancing herself from the academic world. Things got even worse in 1914, when their marriage was completely in shambles. At that point, the scientist had the audacity to write a ridiculous letter imposing certain rules on his wife. This letter contained a series of humiliating conditions for Maliva to continue living in the house. Among the demands in the letter, it was stipulated that Maliva could only have close or personal contact with him with his permission, and only if necessary to maintain appearances in society. Additionally, she had to ensure that his clothes were always in order according to his instructions, serve him three meals a day solely in his room, and keep his bedroom and study always tidy. His desk was never to be touched by anyone else, only he could touch it, and she was never to ask him to sit with her at home. This letter or agreement was a sort of prelude to their divorce, which was finalized in 1919. In the divorce documents, Maliva managed to ensure that it was recorded that she would receive the Nobel Prize money in public recognition of her contribution if he ever won the prize. In 1921, when the scientist was awarded the Nobel Prize, he fulfilled his promise, although he unsuccessfully tried to back out afterward. However, Maliva made it clear that she could prove her contribution to his work, which helped her maintain the agreement despite his infamous attitude. Maliva Marrakesh's legacy was significant. After the divorce, she fully dedicated herself to caring for her children, especially Edward, who suffered from schizophrenia. Meanwhile, the scientist began a new life with his cousin Elsa, whom he married shortly after divorcing Maliva. I understand your reaction about the cousin, we must consider that social norms at that time, especially in those countries, were very different from today. Unfortunately for Maliva, after the divorce and without support from her family, she spent the rest of her days in Zurich living in poverty. She passed away on August 4, 1948, and was buried in the Northeim Friedhof Cemetery. Despite her contributions, her grave was forgotten, and her headstone was removed due to unpaid taxes. This genius, yet poor husband, whose revolutionary ideas transformed physics and forever changed our understanding of the universe, is known as one of the greatest prodigies of 20th century science. With a significant impact on the theory of relativity and an indelible mark on history, the scientist we're talking about is indeed Albert Einstein. Beyond his important legacy, he is not without controversy, especially regarding his treatment of Maliva Marek. Despite his great achievements, his attitude and lack of recognition towards Maliva's contributions reveal a less honorable aspect of his life. The story of Maliva Marek is a reminder of the difficulties faced by women in science and other fields in the early 20th century. Although she never received the recognition she deserved, her influence on Einstein's work is undeniable. Marrakesh's legacy is a testament to her sacrifice and contribution, despite the limitations imposed by her era and her relationship with one of history's greatest geniuses. How about we remember some of the women who have made significant contributions to the history of humanity?
Let's end the video here. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I hope you enjoyed this story and that we learned to appreciate the capabilities of individuals. As always, your friend Mr. Rollister sends his best wishes and a big hug. I hope all your goals are achieved, but remember, never stop trying and, above all, keep a positive attitude in the face of challenges. That is the key not only to overcoming obstacles but also to succeeding despite them. If you think this video could be useful to someone else, don't hesitate to share it. And if you have any anecdotes or interesting stories you'd like us to share, leave us your suggestions. We are always looking for new ways to illuminate those dark corners with inspiring stories. The End Thank you.